every single part of the mid-season 5 update is disappointing. And this is coming from someone who is always positive, even when the entire COD community is complaining. So let's start with the two new weapons, the bow and the spear. The bow has a great hipfire accuracy and can be equipped with six different kinds of ammunition, which sadly are all useless. The explosive tip doesn't one-shot, the thermite tip doesn't one-shot, and the ripper arrow ammunition, which is supposed to deal more damage, sometimes one shots if it's a headshot. And the ammo type for the bow is the launcher ammo. So you are limited when you're using this weapon and you have to keep buying ammo boxes. It is fun for multiplayer, but definitely not viable for wars. As for the spear, when I hit this shot, I thought this is it. This is what we need, until I realized that it's only a one shot if it's a headshot. And if you want to use it in melee, it's a two hit down just like most melee weapons. Another problem is that if you die and pick up your spear again, you will get fists instead. Even though when you died, you had multiple spears with you. So now you must buy an ammo box just so you can use it again. So instead of using the bow or the spear, just use the car 98 instead. And this is only half of the disappointment when it comes to this update. Now for the weapon balancing and the meta changes. Did the meta change? Yes and no. The STG-44 and the static HV SMG got a substantial nerf. So what is the close range meta now? These are the best SMGs we have right now with the Lackman Shroud taking first place if you are using the conversion kit. The problem is it has really bad mobility so you have to use this loadout specifically or use the Tax 10 build so you don't have to worry about it. But even then it doesn't feel that consistent and you're better off using the FGX Horus or the Superi 46. As for the long range meta, we do have some variety here. Up to 40 meters, the best weapon to use is the SOA battle rifle. And after that, we have the STG-44, the Holger 5.56 AR. But after 40 meters, in first place, we have the TAC Eradicator LMG, followed by the MTZ 5.56 AR, which means we don't have anything fresh or new. The meta just went back to how it was in the previous season, with the only change being that all the weapons are now a bit weaker. And the thing that pissed me off the most is that they removed Solo's Resurgence from the playlist. I hate how people stack. And yes, there is a difference between people sticking together and a full team hiding in one quarter holding the same angle. The only good news here is that the Black Ops 6 beta is coming out in a few days and hopefully that will be the breath of fresh air that we all desperately need.